Hello friend, my name is Vijay Kumar and we are studying representation and air conditioning. I have covered the air representation cycle than simple vapor compression cycle. Now I am going to start simple vapor absorption representation system. In this system, this is the schematic diagram for simple vapor absorption system. Let's see one by one what is the process, how the process is going on, how the present is going on, how the absorber works. Let's see one by one. First, start from here. Evaporator. In evaporator, in, sim in simple paper absorption system, I have taken ammonia as a represent. I have taken ammonia as a represent. In evaporator, the ammonia which is flowing through the evaporator will take heat from the storage space. That we call as the depreciation effect. Okay. After that, the ammonia at this point it is in liquid and it is vapor. After taking heat, ammonia will convert into vapor. This vapor of ammonia will go to the absorber. Will go to the absorber. In absorber, water is there. This water will absorb ammonia. This water will absorb ammonia. Now in absorber, there is a mixture of ammonia and water. Aqueous ammonia solution. Aqueous ammonia. Ammonia and water. So this mixture, it is in liquid form. It is also in liquid form. This ammonia and water will be pumped through the pump. Some work is done in the pump that I have written WP. This pump will do the work to all liquid ammonia and water solution. Then this liquid will go to the generator. Here you have to listen carefully. In generator, we have given heat. That is QG. We have given heat in generator QG. In generator, what will happen? The boiling temperature, the boiling temperature of ammonia is less. And boiling temperature of water is more. So after giving heat to the generator, the ammonia will ammonia will evaporate. Here, ammonia plus water. In generator, this ammonia will evaporate. This ammonia will evaporate. Because ammonia has less boiling point than the water. So, the vapor of ammonia will go to the condenser. Vapor of ammonia will go to the condenser. We will see here. Now, in generator, the water will collect. In generator, water will collect at the bottom. And this water is again sent to absorber through the PRE. PRE means pressure reducing ball. PRE means pressure reducing ball. Pressure reducing ball. As the name suggests, it means it is reducing the pressure. Because pump has increased the pressure from this point to this point. So PR will reduce the pressure of water. And this water again goes to absorber. So this cycle completes for the water. Okay, now come here. In condenser, ammonia vapor comes. In condenser, this vapor will convert into liquid by rejecting heat QC to the environment. Amount of heat QC is rejected to the environment 
by this ammonia vapor will convert into liquid okay now this ammonia liquid will go to the expansion valve in expansion valve pressure of ammonia liquid will reduce pressure of ammonia liquid will reduce and then this ammonia liquid will go to the evaporator and after that evaporator again this cycle will repeat again this cycle will repeat now we have seen the process how ammonia is flowing and water is working in the system this is the schematic diagram for this system let's see some important points regarding the vapor absorption refrigeration system now let's see some important point regarding the simple vapor absorption system first point simple vapor absorption system works on low grade energy however the simple vapor compression cycle works on high grade energy that means the work input to the compressor that means the work input to the compressor in simple vc cycle is based on high grade energy because work is a high grade energy and heat energy is a low grade energy so vs system works on low grade energy now compressor is replaced by absorber pump generator and prv in vapor absorption system you see here there is a dotted green line i have drawn in the left side of this dotted line this is the part of simple vapor compression cycle and this was the part of compressor in simple vapor absorption system the compressor is not there the compressor has been replaced by absorber pump generator and prv okay and in this there is no moving part except pump this is small pump no that that pump or that uh, size of compressor this is a small pump so electrically or work input to the pump is very very less in this case okay so compressor is replaced by absorber pump prv and generator third point ammonia water most popular vs system so most popular vs system is ammonia water in which ammonia is represented and water is used as absorber water is used as absorbent uh, sorry absorber water is using absorb is absorbing ammonia vapor okay now it is used where cost of electricity is very high because in simple vapor compression system compressor cost there if electricity cost is very very high and i am using vc system then electrical input to that compressor is very high then con consumption of electrical electricity is very low, very high so in that case simple vapor absorption system will be used a cost of electricity is very high in that area next one solar refrigeration is the example of va system solar refrigeration is based on simple vapor absorption system last part heat is, you you clearly see here that heat is rejected from con uh, condenser and absorber in this system there in this system heat is rejected from condenser and absorber and heat addition is in generator and evaporator so these are some important points regarding the simple vapor absorption system and this is the schematic diagram and i have already explained the process so in the next video friends we will see the coefficient of performance for this cycle we will see the coefficient of performance of this cycle thanks for watching this video and have a good day